Generic greetings and welcome to Terra Nil. Today's beverage is a nice cup of green tea with a hint of fennel and ginger, I believe. An interesting combination, but it seems to work quite well and also quite fitting considering the objective of this game is to turn everything green. Either way, welcome to Terra Nil. This is described as a reverse city builder, however, I believe the more accurate and indeed helpful description would to call it a terraforming puzzle game. It's a game I have played before when it was a freely available prototype on itch.io and I very much enjoyed it and was looking forward to checking out the full version of the game. This is not that, this is actually a freely available demo as of the time recording. It is publicly available so I'll put links in the description so you can check it out yourself for PC. Um, I don't know how long that will be up if there's, uh, there might not be a time limit but uh, either way anything that I find will be in the description there. But it's a game where you have to terraform form a wasteland. You start with a barren piece of earth and you have to place buildings and use different construction techniques in order to rejuvenate the ecosystem. So with that said and done, I'm going to jump in and play a little bit of it. I've not yet completed the demo, so I don't know how far it goes, but I've played enough to basically get the the moment to moment down. To be fair, it's very, very similar to the prototype that I've played, which is a nice little uh, thing to see what the, was uh, the start there with the prototype and what they've gone to here. So it says, Welcome to Terra Nil. Your goal is to rejuvenate this wasteland by covering the landscape in greenery. So a quick rundown through the eye. Obviously, centre is your main play field. Bottom left, we have our target greenery coverage percentage, which is very difficult for me to say. We have our generic units of currency, which is this green leaf. We have a thousand to start with. All of the buildings on the bottom, which when you mouse over it tells you what they are, so in this case a turbine, what they require, what they provide, and a little description as well. And then on the bottom right is our ecosystem, or climate should I say. Current climate, reach the target temperature and humidity for rewards. So we need to get to that green circle there. So how do we do that? Well, we'll do so by terraforming this landscape. I should point out that this landscape is a randomly generated, so it's dynamically generated, so even in this demo there is a fair amount to continually play here. And how do we terraform it? Well, at the moment it's just barren land. You can just mouse over an area, it'll just say what it is. So wasteland, that'll be a dry riverbed, and then you've got rocks here as well. And we need to terraform it. So I'm going to start, let's have a quick look. I'm going to start up in this top corner here. And I want to place a windmill so I can provide some power for our buildings. In fact, I'll place three of them like so. You Once you have an area like that surrounded by... Uh, well, that's got power, you can't place one next to it. Not that you would really need to, but it means that you can't place one there and then one there just to extend it. You have to be outside that zone of control. So there we go, we've spent already a little bit of money, so we're on 775. So what can we do now? Well, we do have this thing called an irrigator. So if we place it there, oh, we, we can't place it there. Well, that's because it requires a different type of soil. So we need to make that soil. How would we do that? Well, in this case, we need a toxin scrubber, and that will clear the toxins from the land, cleanses nearby wasteland and ash tiles of toxins, converting them into fertile soil. Brilliant. However, before we do that, I'm going to do a little bit more of an advanced play here. Now, as you can see, we've got this dry riverbed. Once it's all terraformed, we can put water in here and it, it's very, very nice. However, slight problem. In order to reach areas like here, for example, we need to get some sort of bedrock there and we'll do so using some of these buildings, but... Mainly, the thing to take away at this type of stage is that you need to get water over there. So how am I going to do that? Well, I do have this thing here called an excavator. It creates a new riverbed but poisons the land around it. So if I placed it here, you can see it's going to fire down and basically generate uh, all that across. But it will poison the land. I don't particularly care at this stage because it's all still poison. So doing it now is actually going to help me out quite a bit. Because if I came to do it later on, well, it's going to go all horrible. <laughs> it's going to just uh, destroy what we've tried to create. So my best course of action is to fire it and uh, at a place that's already got uh, water connected. So if I do that, it's going to go down that way quite well. So you can see it gathers some stuff and then fires and this drill out and that just goes and calves through the mountain and there we go, we're over at this side. Excellent. Right, uh, can I go any further with that one? Well, I can't. Um, you can't, you can see, you won't be able to fire through your own buildings just in case you were wondering. I think the best thing to do would be to connect it up like that and then fire again, but each one of these, every time I fire it's 200, so I can't really afford to do that anymore. Let's start the terraform then. So I'm going to go for this toxin scrubber, 
and I can place that in anywhere we have this blue box and it'll show you in green what's going to get terraformed and in orange what is not going to be terraformed either because there's a building there or because we have um, already terraformed it. So placing it in there is probably the best bit because we're getting the top and you can see we place that and now the soil is cleansed and we now have fertile soil. Very nice. Actually just says soil but there you are. So we've got that in. Uh, similar for over here we're going to place one in there and we're just going to keep placing these things. So I'm just going to try and get as much as I possibly can with what I have here and I think that is reasonable and I'm just working around here actually we'll probably put one in there as well and I'm not gonna go any further with that because all of this has now been changed so good let's do what we really need to do and get an irrigator and the irrigator it shows you how many tiles uh, well, that's right. It shows you what you're going to get. So you actually gain some money off this. And this, so for there, this costs 50, but we will generate 125. So the net profit is 125. So we're getting 175 tiles. It would be nice if this also showed you the amount of tiles that you are placing. That would be quite good, I think. Anyway, back to this. Let's just rotate around. So it's in an L shape, and we rotate around, and then go for that, and then over to like a straight bit here. And I'm just going to try and place it so we get. Uh, a nice uh, 64 but I want to get at the back there so that will do and place that and it sprays water everywhere and there we go it's irrigated and not only that but the sound changes <laughs> now I've got like things cheeping away rustling of leaves very nice let's continue on rotating these around trying to place it in a decent area over there it's not great but it's not terrible yeah, let's irrigate that all the way back to there. But on all this, it's still a dry riverbed. Yes, it is. Let us fix that using this thing. It's a water pump. And place it there. Does that water in? Oh, yes. <laughs> I quite like the graphics in the original game and the original version that I played. But this is so much better. <laughs> It's so, it's very, it's it's lovely. It's a very, very nice looking game. And you can place these anywhere you need to, really. But I'm not going to go any further with that bit. I'm going to go keep working along here. Um, so how are we going to do this? I want to place one of these in here. And I want to connect up this river if I can. Which I can. So there. So fire. Fire's the drill. And digs along and then connects that up and then you see the water will now come along and it's because it's touching the side it's cleansing it and establishing this riverbank it only goes so, so far though so it doesn't go like as far it doesn't go like really really far just as far as it needs to so let's just continue working on this I think we'll have See, you don't need to get all the tiles. It is obviously beneficial to get all the tiles, but you don't need all the tiles. What I'm going to do is go for... I'm going to be almost close to bankrupt here. One, two, three, and I have 110 left. But that's enough for me to place these in. 81, 98, but I'm missing over the top there, you see. 115 for this one. So I'm going to ignore that top corner. I don't think I need that. 117, 115. Uh, there. And also, while I'm at it, let's place one here. Yeah. Obviously, placing it further down wouldn't irrigate this water course. Because, you know, water generally only flows down. As a generalization, you understand. Oh, well, there we go, and that's also going along. Right, what about this area? We can probably do this. Um, the issue is that we're going to run out of stuff over there. But let's just place this in. Get it done. There we are. Nice and terraformed. Getting good money, which is good. I think I want to terraform along here. But, slight problem. We've got nothing I can place these on. I can only place them in these areas. So what am I going to do? Well, I've got this thing, which calcifies the ground around it. Allowing us to build... One of those, which is exactly what we'll do. Thing is, though, if I placed it there, that would go in there. Yeah, that's. I think that's about right. So far that side. One in here. Perfect. And another one in here. Right, let's just build. Rotating them. 
Perfect. Nice net profit there. Keep expanding. That's good. And we have this. Um, I think we'll... We could really fill all this up with water. The problem is I'm never going to get in land like that, am I? I need to fire this thing, but it's 200. This is where the puzzle element comes in. It's all about your... It's all about your, like, timing, essentially. Hmm... Okay. Gonna have to be very careful here. And... I'm trying to get all this water back of the bottom back here. That'll do. And there we go. I need to fire inland here. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna struggle with that. I don't think it's a I don't think it is a um an easy game per se. And with this we've got one more attempt to place this. Tempted to do that though. Yeah. That's okay. A couple of bits left. It's not a big drama. I could calcify for 75. Then put that for 75. No, wouldn't work. Wouldn't work. Okay. So I need to. I think just go around here. Hmm. Start working over here, I think. One. Two. And you know what? I'll just place one of these in for now. Again, pressing R to rotate. Getting in all I can. I'm going to miss those bits out because we'll come back to it when we do this. That's no in. That's okay. I'm pretty happy with that. Maybe I shouldn't be. Seventy-one percent greenery. Let's do this now. So one, two, three. I'd have thirty-one left if I place that, so that would bankrupt me. So I can't afford to do that. So put that in. Let's put that in to fill all this with water. Get that in play. Um, then this. Nice. 90% at the moment. So we're almost there. I think. One. Two. And then three. Another straight line. That should be done. Oh, very close. Ninety-eight percent. Well, we'll take advantage of this. Guess we'll do there. There. Um That'd leave me with one. That would be a failure state. So I guess this. You successfully repopulated this wasteland with plant life. Now increase the biodiversity of the ecosystem by restoring three biomes. Press the two tab below to access the new buildings. And now there is all of our new buildings. We have things like a research centre, reduces the cost of scrubbers, pumps, calcifiers and extractors, and makes excavators smaller. And we've got a lot of other things that, like, say, hydro, uh, you've got hydroponics, we've got beehives, uh, arboretums, etc. And now on the left-hand side, the biomes uh, tab is open. So we've got, well, tab, the biomes uh, readout is open. So we've got three different types of biomes. I think it's wetland, forest, and grassland. And we need to use these tools to make that. But... I'm still really needing to keep terraforming around here. So I'm going to do just that. So actually what I'll do first is place one of these because this should make it cheaper. 
So we'll place that there for 25, and that should make things cheaper. Yes, these are 25. Alright. So... Is there a better way of doing this? Possibly. See this drill now? This thing here. It's a lot smaller. Problem is, it still soils the ground when it f when it uses it. So all that red there is what's going to be destroyed. So I think that's why you really have to, you know, place it earlier. Because we're not going to get inside here. We might be able to get it with with calcifying the ground around here, but we don't have that option really. Um, I'll tell you what. Let's just go and get all we can. So there's that, and then. One in here. And we're not doing much in terms of the rest of the ecosystem, but we're getting there. Calcifier is cheaper. Actually, we need a calcifier. Yeah, we do. We do. So, calcifier. I think. There. And I can place in there means I can do that and that I'm just gonna rotate things there we go it's just still trying to get this money so it's all about this stage as well well it's actually all about terraforming but <laughs> I don't know what I can accomplish without any of that money. You need money to do it. So there we go. What else can we do? Well, we have options for... Do we, do we have water? Is the water cost fully done? No, the water's not water, there's not water there. That would just be negative, so there's no point in doing that. Um, I would love to calcify this. Turbine there and fire back. This might be a failure state, this. I think I'm going to spend a bit too much. That's going to destroy a bit of the land as well. But it does... Yeah, it's going to destroy a bit of the land. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 or 11 tiles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I think that's the best one. I think we've already failed. I think I'll bankrupt myself. Mm. Yeah, doesn't say. I've got 44. Yeah. Take us to 19. Can't place the 51. Hmm. Okay. Is there any way I can alter this then? I can't place any of those, but I can place this. So this is a. Um, a beehive, and as soon as we place it, yep, hear the bees doing bee stuff, making bee juice, and it's got all this nice flowers. Love that. You can see, gently swaying, swaying in the wind. Lovely. Where else can we place them? Well, any anywhere there's trees. So this is actually the wrong order to do this in, but I'm doing it nonetheless because it gives me money, and that money then gives me the options in order to actually continue. So that's a good thing, surely. Uh, let's just go ahead and calcify the land around here. Place a wind turbine in, say, um, I think there is reasonable. Then we'll terraform that, terraform that, and then this side. And then I'll start using this to rotate it right round to get as much as I possibly can, which is about that. Yep, that's nice. And still 122. But I think enough to reasonably place these. One there, one there, and then go in that way. There we are. Is there anywhere else I can place this? There, but this one isn't done. For, let's let's convert this first.
Perfect. Getting this bit as well. Obviously a little bit of land in the middle. So there's many ways to go around doing it, but we're getting there. Uh, this, we'll get more money. So that is not too bad, but we've now got successfully this. We now have the uh, first biome done, so the grasslands. But what about trees? Well, in order to create trees, you need an arboretum. An arboretum requires destroyed earth, burnt earth. And how do you do that? Well, you have to set things on fire, sadly. So, are we going to do that? Yes, 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 I think we are. But, the thing about fire, and this is a bit of a spoiler, fire burns, okay? So, <laughs> you need to make sure that it's on an area that is not connected. Because if I set it here, it'll burn around here, up to the water and stop, fair enough. It's not going to burn through solid rock or go through water, or completely evaporate the entire lake, but it will burn down here. And then over here, and then up this way, and I don't know if it can spread up, but it'll certainly burn around. So the the best course of action at this stage is for me to burn this side, because it'll spread, like, all over this way. I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, first things first, though, is probably do that. Get one of these in. I thought I placed that. Now I have. Um... There we go. And then I can just finish this off. Just to get that terraform before anything else. Right, let's do this. So I'm going to burn this corner and see if it spreads uphill. It may not. So in order to do that, you need one of these things, which is a solar amplifier. In fact, I'm going to place it there, because then I can place them... Uh, that's a solar ampl amplifier. It does just, you know, uh, catch the light and uh, magnify it. And there you go. Now that we've started to rejuvenate the ecosystem, we've got different animals come back, which is good. Anyway, we need a desiccator. I'm going to desiccate that area there. So you place that, solar amplifier amplifies into there, and basically tinders the whole thing. And there you go, it is burning. And it looks like it doesn't burn uphill. So it's good to know. So that's now done. Well, let's start placing some of these. Trees, trees there. Nice, trees. Right, let's burn, let's burn up here. I can't burn up there. There's not, not enough space. Really? I would have thought there'd be enough space there. And I can't burn down here as well. That's a shame. Oh, you have to place it in grassland by the look of it. That makes perfect sense. So, I can convert that to grassland. See that? Yeah, and then burn. That's going to burn the grassland and then spread. Like I say, I don't think it's going to spread down. And it does destroy these buildings by the look of it as well. Actually, when the yeah, when the buildings go, you can then build on it, which is the whole point, really. Mm, negative four. But there you are. And then I can go this side with that. Yeah, good. And then this is where it's going to go. <laughs> all kinds of bad. So all of this is going to burn. Well, a lot of it. So there we are. It's getting scorched. You can see the the current climate. We are good for temperature. Absolutely bang on for temperature. But humidity, not so much because we need more wetland. So there's all that's burnt. Let's continue on. And there we are. We have successfully got grassland and the forests, but we need wetland. And wetland, you literally place it on these, um, what were they called, irrigators, which I guess <laughs> it just springs a leak and irrigates more, and then you get wetland with all of these lily pads and such. Let's just work our way through. Let's see what we can change. A lot of it. Has to be near a water course, naturally. Mm. Alright. What I'm going to do over here is... I can't really convert. 
It's salt the ground, convert. That's a lot of... I actually need to put more water there. I'll tell you what, yeah, let's just use the pump. That'll pump to there, then that might change the options. Mm, I need to convert that, so I'm going to salt it. Say it's salt, it's what it's called. Calcify, calcifies it. Power. Then... That's the best we're going to get. Then one of these. Um, actually, if we make an L shape. 26. Yeah. It's nowhere near water, though, so it's probably not going to be... I can't. probably can't place it. I'll try. No, I can't. I'll make that well, and then can I do that? No. Shame. And if I was to use this now, it would actually only destroy a certain amount of it. Anything that's already been converted to, say, these, th this bit here, it's not going to destroy it. So if I do that, it's still going to cost money, and it's still going to burn a hole in it, but because we've already converted it, it's not going to, like, rip the... It's not going to destroy it over there. Um, if I place one in here, we're going to get some amazing wetlands. It's going to cost 50, but it doesn't matter, because then we get 35 doing that. Nice, we're getting there now. Just going to double check. Minus 18 if I did that. But we should tick the box. With biodiversity restored, we can begin the process of cleaning up. You need to construct an airship and recy uh, of recycled materials. You can also be given, be given access to advanced weather technology. So I need to bring these buildings back. What's this? Humidity pylon. Ah. So we can... If we're trying to get this optional, I think, we can do that. So we have airships... Allows for the construction of the airship with materials recycled from other structures. Must be built on a riverbank. Well, it's big. <laughs> I'll give it that. There we go. We've got one in. Recycling drone. Travels along rivers to collect recycled materials from the docks. A silo. Removes other buildings and stores a portion of their cost. So if I place it there, yeah, it's going to remove all those buildings. But they also need a loading dock. Loads recycle material from the surrounding buildings and silos into recycle drone. And pound lock. Allows recycling drones to travel up and down waterfalls. Oh good! That's a new thing I believe. Right, so we've only got 105 so this is problematic. Problematic, in fact. Is that an undo button? I think so. I'll try it. I'll try it. Undo. Undo. It is an undo button. Fair enough. So that goes in there. Um, loading dock. Does that recycle all those? Yeah. So I don't know if we get money off this. <laughs> There's only one way of finding out. So I need one of those boats, which I've now got. I need one of these, which I'll place in there. And then finally a silo, which should remove a lot of this stuff. Ah, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, we, we, we failed. So you don't get the, the money back from that. That is a bit of a shame. I can undo. So no longer... Ah, I only get a limited number of undos by the look of it. Hmm... Okay. That's a shame. Oh no. Are we getting money from that? Are we getting money from that? Seems like we are. I'll tell you what, there's a lot of stuff around here. If I place this there, and then just say, uh, right, you. Uh. Ah, oh, placing one of those just does it. Okay, right. So what's that one do then? Moves the other buildings and stores a portion of their cost. Right, okay. Whereas this one. Ah, this, that's the better one. Right, so if you've got waterways, then you busy. Job done. Job done. 
So I'm just going to place these about. It's taking a little bit of time for the boat to come along. You can see it's coming along there. Fills it up. Get some money. You can see we've left a little bit of it though, but it's not a big drama. I want to build another boat. Why can't I build another boat? Can you only have the one? I don't know. Humidity. Increases humidity by 5%. 7% over there. So it's shifting it closer, you can see on the right. I'm I'm currently just trying to like not lose the game, so I think that's a reasonable <laughs> uh, thing for me to at least go for. Um, so, why can't we place them along there? Ah, oh, because it can't go up. Are those not part of the same water course? They're not. Those are, those are different, I think. See so, yeah, how I can't place one in there. It's a shame. Can't place one there, though. And in there. Oh, there you go. We've got some deer wandering around. Nice herds of deer. In there. We've got some frogs. Yeah, so we're getting... It's a nice biodiversity there. Just picking that up. Oh, and the water's all, like, flowed around. Why not? Can't go in there now. Huh. Right, anyway. We can come at it from this side, can we? No, we'll need a lock. Or can we not go past that? We can't go past that, but if I remove that, surely it'll get it done. I'm hoping. We can place a lock there. <laughs> I'm going to do it just to place it because I want to see it go up a lock. Let's see if it goes up there. There's our lock. Ah, looks like it doesn't do it in... Uh, it doesn't go for distance. It goes for order of placement. Makes perfect sense. That's removed. I would like to place one of those. Go on. You go slowly moving up towards the target temperature. And it's in the 2%. Go on then. So I should have. Oh, that'd be 5. There we are. Getting close to that target one. I don't think we're going to get a perfect score. And technically we've already lost, haven't we? So, yeah. Eh, I wasn't watching that doing its drone stuff. Oh, hang on. Wait. Lock. And this. Let's see what it looks like. Ah, it's stuck. It got itself stuck up there. Because <laughs> it removed the lock. Right, okay. So it's going to do the same thing here, is it? It is. So I need to place that there. That's a that's a bit annoying, actually. I, I would hope that that was altered for the full game. It's a it's understandably a puzzle element. Oh look at that, we're putting this together. Yeah, it's part of the element, but it's mm, don't know. It's, it doesn't sit right that one. And uh, oh, there we go. We got some fish in there. Good. Um. Right. So we need to just get started to remove all of this. See what that does. Then over here as well. It's a shame I can't place this anywhere. Can we get closer to that? Is there some way I can do that? Just maybe <laughs> start spending. And no, 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 no. I mean, doing that would help. It gets closer, but it depends. Depends how much money we're going to get from that. Oh, we got quite a bit. That's what it says. Temperature. Uses water and wetland to create humidity, but wetland decreases. I don't care about that. Um, so I need to over here. So I need to go one. Strangely, I can place it even though there's no power. I'm going to assume that that's a bug. To be honest. Yeah, I think that's a, a bit of a bug. Man, I can't place one here. Really? Oh, that's a shame. Alright, okay, let's just uh, finish this off then. So, we'll go for the removal of that. 
The removal of that one. Nothing's over there. Get rid of those. And in the... Oh, there's the bear. There's the bear. You can just see his outline there. But he's over there. Yeah, in the... Um, in the demo that I played, the uh, beta, should I say. Whatever you like to call it. We were able to send like drones out, I think, if memory serves. Because I don't think we're going to be able to get all of these. So we just use silos. Guess that's what it'll have to be, just silos. Ah, oh, should have used silos first, like there. To remove those. And then collect that. Is that right? Or is that just... I'm going to undo that. Silo. There. And then pick that up. Right. Okay. Yeah. That's about right. So just waiting for this to come along. And I think once we leave, once that gets to 100%, then the rest of the world, even though there's little bits left, that will still get recycled. Uh, sorry, that once it's all done, it will still, like, flourish. Because it's, like, it's now sustainable. It's self-sustaining. Uh, going over here. Yep, there's the little boat. It's a shame you can't build more than one. I would assume you can build more than one eventually. Assume perhaps wrongly. There's that picked up. There's that dropped down. Clearing that. Take us up to the right amount for these two. So that, and then that. There we go. <laughs> We're on two. It's close. It's going to be close. We can obviously get rid of all that as well, even though there's a humidity thing there. We might get it, though. It's slowly moving towards it. These I'll... I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just hoping we get enough off these. As I said, we've already hit the failure state, and we just, you know, press the undo button. I can't say that it's like a, a very chill game. The theme is, and the, you know, the music and sound, everything, all is, you know, it's all got that, yeah, it's a very chill game type of vibe. But, at the same time, it's a tough game. <laughs> so, I don't know how chill you will find it. I think mileage may vary. Let's uh, put that there. Just waiting for this drone to come along here. Our little recycling drone. And I wonder if the full game's gonna have a like, story with it. What's happened here? Who caused it? You know. The main focus of this demo and with this video is really to show the, the actual moment to moment of it. Or 91%. I don't know if you have to collect everything. You might have to, though. And what's these? Saying ah, it's saying there's your la there your last bits left. Okay. Um. So pick that up. And draw on it. So yes, you do have to pick up everything. This could be problematic. Um, if I can get those, yes, I can. And then place one of those there. Yeah, we should be able to get them all. I really like the, uh, the look of the game. Very pretty indeed. Oh, hang on. One last bit here. Um, there would be fine. Yep, it's going to pick up from there. Then there's just that little bit left. And... Is that about right? I think so. Then the rest of it, once we've done that, the rest should recover. Just that, but I don't have enough money. I can't. I can't win. Oh, gutted. <laughs> so gutted. I can't do it. I don't have enough cash. <laughs> um, unless I can do that. 
start to <laughs> more put more bees about. Now, but most of it won't give be positive. It'll be all taking away. Um. Oh, is there anything I can do? Can you build a lock gate? That that goes there, but no, it won't reach. Is there anything I can do? Is there anything I can place? No, I can't. Eat. I don't even have the right cash for that. Undo. No. I think. After all of that, that may be a GG. That's a shame. I'm so close. So close yet so far. Um, I can't place that. I can't build in here. Nothing else to take away there. Nope. It's saying that one. But I just don't have the cash. Won't even allow me to build it. I can place it there, but it's not going to do anything. There's nothing else to collect. No, doesn't look like. I can only place these for 25. So even over here. Even though it's going to change some of it, it's not going to give me enough. It's going to net be a net negative. Hmm. Well, oh, I'm on plus two. Yay. <laughs> we still don't have the right amount of money. Um... I think that was my last chance. Oh, that's such a shame. That's such a shame. Yeah. Nothing else we can do. Don't think there is. Nothing special. Can't even place that. If we did it in a slightly different order, we would have got there. But, that is Terra Nil, essentially. I've only got that one to do. We've already failed it. You know, like, there's nothing else I can do. But, yeah. If we did get that, I believe this would then, if it's similar to the... Yeah, it didn't do anything, that one. Yeah, it was. if it's similar to the uh, beta... Not the beta, the, uh, the prototype that I played, all of this would be filled uh, automatically. The, you know, it would pan out and we'd see all of this. And then the ship would leave, I would imagine. Then we'd probably get a rating based on this. But, alas, it was not to be. But I think that's a fair representation of what this beta has to offer. And what you can do. Obviously, it's about placing things in the right order. You know, working with the terrain. Um, and really planning ahead. I do find this is harder than that, that prototype that I played. And I don't know if that's deliberate. Whether that's something they are focusing on for the full game. Whether it's just this version. Uh, or, well, this this beta um, demo, sorry, that we're playing. Or whether or not this is uh, an unfair representation of the difficulty for the base game. Or maybe it's easy and I've just messed it up. Who knows? Either way, excited to play and will be playing more and certainly checking out the full game. That's a bit of Terra Nil. We got to 98%, uh, but we can't go any further. Technically, we've already failed, but... As I said, I think that is a fair representation of what you can expect. Links in the description so you can check the game out yourself, including the demo. It is publicly available as of the time of recording. I don't know whether it's a limited time or not, but if you want to check it out, then by all means, uh, have a look at the description and all of that. Uh, like, would like to know your sort of thoughts and feedback on this one, what you like, what you dislike. Also, what you think I could have done better in order to actually win this thing. <laughs> Either way, I'm going to be playing some more. And uh, if you want to see more, then by all means, let me know. <laughs> anyway, hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings. <laughs>